All right, in the last video, a few of you suggested that I do a zero points challenge where I try to get as low points as possible. So we're going to do that today on the world map. I'm not allowed to Google anything. Now, I did do a test of this, and if you click down in Antarctica, as you can see, you more or less guarantee that you're going to get zero points every single time. So I think we're going to make a rule that I can't click on Antarctica. So let's start a new game, and here we go. Zero points challenge. It's it's just black. What happened? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> well, in that case, we shall go for Australia. I reckon that's a pretty good guess. Why is it black? Is that just a glitch that happens or what? Oh, there we go. That's a zero pointer. The completely black screen was down in North Carolina, right on the coast. Was it under the ocean? Is that why it was black? Let's go to the actual location on maps. It's black on maps as well. I don't understand, but we got zero points, so we win. <laughs> I don't like the look of this place. They've got cows in a field. There's a vehicle here. There's numbers, and I can't read if that's in English or not. I don't know. Could it be somewhere in Africa, maybe, do you think? Or potentially Australia? There's a sign coming up, so let's see what's on the sign. No clues as to the language there, unfortunately. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Simarelli. Right. Transportando porturos di coste. I'm sure I nailed that pronunciation. So it's not Australia because it's not in English. Does that sound Italian to you, maybe? It just doesn't look much like Italy, but I've not been to Italy, so I wouldn't know. The language on that vehicle did sound quite Spanish. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do... It might be Mexico. I was going to click over in the United States as like a safe bet, but it's potentially Mexico. Potentially Brazil as well, actually. There's a lot of places it could be. I mean, we know it's not England, so we could click there. But then we are quite close to Spain there, and we want zero points. We might have to go somewhere in Russia, I think. If we go up in the north of Russia, I reckon that's a pretty safe bet. Come on, let's get another zero points. Oh, you earned another point. We got one point. It was Brazil. I thought it potentially was. I said Brazil, didn't I? I mean, I mainly said it was Italy for some reason. See, it's lucky I didn't go Canada, or we could have blown this whole operation. Oh, look, the line switches depending on where you're looking. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can't believe we just got one point. An actual one point. Right, where's this? This looks like it could be Canada or America maybe. What side are they driving on? They're driving on the right. I wish I knew more about which countries drove on the left and which countries drove on the right because that doesn't really help me, I'll be honest. This does feel American. I can't believe we have one point. That makes me laugh so much. Very pretty area. I like this a lot more than the skinny cows. A sign of some sort would be nice though. God, look how unreal this is. It could be Alaska maybe? We're gonna get any points. Just, oh, 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 go back, go back, go back. There was a sign somewhere. Where's that sign gone? I saw a sign that said for sale, so it is somewhere English speaking. Where did the sign go? Oh, here it is, here it is. Large acreage riverfront. Yeah, it says .com on the domain. I think this is somewhere in the US. So, where's furthest away from America? Go too far over Asia, we'll end up closer to it again. So I think really we should maybe be clicking on India. Let's find somewhere nice in India. Where do we like the look of? Yeah, Peb Bar. Can't go wrong with Peb Bar. Oh, We'll go to the church. We'll click on the church in Peb Bar. I'm making the guess. This is definitely a church in India. Make guess. Go for it. Go for it. We got one point again. <laughs> Ah, yeah, 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 it was Canada. So it was on the border of Canada and America. It was in Alberta, specifically. Very pretty area. Mount King George? Whoa! But that went good. One point once again. <laughs> Did you enjoy this location? Very much so. I don't recognize the architecture of this area at all. Yeah, I have no idea where this is. Oh, hang on, hang on. We've got a bunch of signs and stuff. Right, music club. And then that's not English, but music club is. We're not somewhere English speaking. What language does that sound like? It sounds like a could be Chile or Peru or Brazil. You know, it could be one of these places. But there again, it could also be somewhere down in Europe. I want to end this game with no more than five points. There is a Black Friday sale. I mean, some of the signs, like it said Music Club, that is in English. And then the fact that they've got a Black Friday. I think America invented Black Friday. So I don't know if this is poor logic, but... Oh, is there a website that we can see? Why does Auto Blazer not promote their website? Petrol station, but we don't see any currency on there. I assume that's a website. Dot CZ. I have no idea where CZ is. <laughs> Could be this place that begins with CZ. Is that a country? <laughs> I think that's the best lead that we've got. So it's somewhere around that place where Prague is. So if we're thinking it's there in Europe, we either need to click right the way over here in Russia or right the way over on this side. And I reckon because there's a chance that it could be somewhere in South America, we need to go all the way back up to somewhere in Russia. Let's find somewhere really nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks good. By the coast as well, because it's definitely not by the coast, this place. We've got this Russian savings bank. 
sure, why not? Make guess. It's definitely not Russia, so this is going to be a low score, but hopefully it's just low enough to be zero points. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, we were right. It was this place that I'd never heard of. Shechia. I'm so sorry if you're watching from this place. Oh, wait. We got 62 points. You can't do this to me. 62 points is a massive score when I'm trying to get no points. I should have gone in Alaska. What have I done? Oh, look. It's a glitched one where I can't see anything. Can we try and get around? If I just, like, spam the buttons? Will it take me somewhere where I can see? Come on, take me somewhere, please. I think it's completely glitched. We're gonna go with South Africa. East London. Apparently there's one of them in South Africa. Make guess. If I've been done in by a glitched round and this is somewhere in South Africa, good. That's okay. 15 points. Could have been better, could have been worse. We're right in the north of India. So 15 points, not a bad score, which means in the end our score was 79 out of a possible 25,000, I think it is. <laughs> Look at that map. That is beautiful. All right, I think if we do United Kingdom only, it will be really difficult. Our goal is to get less than 100, okay? Obviously, United Kingdom's just so much smaller. All right, Iceland. We need to find a sign, really. So I'm not allowed to Google, but if I find the name of a place, I'm allowed to look for that place on the little map. Welcome to Iceland. Oh my God, massive giveaway. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, please give me a sign, as this could be almost anywhere in the UK. Probably the upper half, I think. There'll probably be a place name at the front of this bus. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What's that say? Plavering? Where's that? And then is there another bus on this side? Outen Manor via Catcourt Road. I don't know where any of these places are. What's this say? Richard and Westgarth, Castle Eden Ales. Okay, basically all we have to go on is this is a bit of a deprived area. So, therefore, I reckon it's in the north somewhere. There should be signs on this roundabout, though. Oh, there is. Oh. That is so helpful. <laughs> Why are there no signs on this roundabout? This area is so deprived, they can't even afford signs. One of the things I love about... I accidentally clicked the back button on my mouse. It's okay. I should be able to resume game. <laughs> the thing I love about the GeoGuessr videos is every single time... My doorbell's going off. That means that my pizza's arrived. Speed round for the pizza. I think it's somewhere in the north. So because of that, I'm going to go all the way down here as far south as we can possibly go. Yes, yes, it was in the north. The northeast. The most deprived area of the UK. Shout out to Hartlepool. To be fair to Hartlepool, me and my gran had a lovely day out there like seven years ago. Okay, 24 points. That is exactly what we want. I'm going to play the next round once I've had my pizza. Pizza transition, please, Kai. Ah, hi. The pizza was great. Thanks for asking. I also watched the Doctor Who episode with Vincent van Gogh and I cried for like the 12th time. Let's play the next round. What's this? Park and ride. So we're somewhere near a city centre then. Do we need to click somewhere where there is not a city? What's the sign say? Gratta Park. Okay. And then this one up here says Four Wentways. I have never heard of that place. Whoa. Cambridge and London. Basically we're down south somewhere. You know what? Just in case it's not obvious. I understand that if I was to click like here I would get zero points. But the rule is I have to click somewhere in the United Kingdom. But that being said if we're somewhere Somewhere near Cambridge, which is... Is it near Oxford? There's Cambridge. And that means that basically we need to click. I think this place is still counted as United Kingdom. I might be completely wrong there. It's like a little splodgy spot. No offense if you live in that splodgy spot. But that being said, let's just click up here and we shall make our guess. Yes! We got one point. That is what we want. Where are we here? You know what? I'm calling it. We're doing a third round after this one where we do like the United States or something. Okay, so we're obviously somewhere in the countryside right now. So we just need to find ourselves a sign. This is a nice spot. This looks like somewhere maybe in Yorkshire or something. I hate when I'm somewhere where I have to click for it just to find anything. What's going on here? I think this is somewhere further south. These big fancy houses, it's got that kind of look to it. This house is for sale. Oh, actually, it's sold. Nice, lads. Yeah, I think this is somewhere around Chester. Just has that kind of look to it, you know? So Chester is right there. Perhaps not Chester, actually. I think it's somewhere fancy like Shropshire or the Cotswolds or something. Somewhere near the south, anyway. Oh, we've got another for sale sign. Peter Ball and Core. Oh, there's no details as to the location. Nice one, Peter Ball. What is going on here? Come on, can we have like just a place name? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. What are the clues? What are the clues? Does that say Gloucestershire? Maybe? I think that says Gloucestershire. Where is that? Remember, I can't Google anything in this game mode. Oh, there it is, there it is. I told you it was near the Cotswolds. Look at that. I think this place is somewhere like right there. So with that being said, we'll go up to our old classic. You know what? I feel like it's cheating going in this thing. So I'm going to go over just at the top of Scotland instead. We'll go right in the peak. We'll go to John O'Groats. This should give us either a no points or a one pointer. Six points. Yes, it was down in Gloucestershire. Okay, next round. This is round four, five. And then after this one, we'll try United States. And you can watch how badly I do because I have very little knowledge of the United States. All right, another very standard looking residential area somewhere within the UK. Let's find a sign. Maple Ridge, Dove House Schools. Okay. Oh, there's a Tesco Express. Half price Pringles. Look at her getting cash out so she can buy some half price. <laughs> 
Where are we guessing this is? I think that this is some- No, I don't think it's Ukraine. I think it's somewhere. I reckon it's somewhere near Hull. I don't know why I think that, but I do. Oh my god, look at that. Lollipop man. Sherbrooke Road playing fields. We need a more main road. Come on. Get me to a roundabout or something. Where is this? Oh, hang on, hang on. Town centre. Right, unfortunately, we are going to have to follow the bicycle train. Bicycle train? I do go outside, I promise. We're going to have to follow the cycle route to the town centre. That says Darlington Road. So does that mean this is somewhere near Darlington, because I know that area pretty well. Well, there's a banner. What's that banner say? Basing Stoke. Basing Stoke! Where is Basing Stoke? Basing Stoke. Basing Stoke. I don't know where Basing Stoke is. Because it said Darlington Road, I think this must be somewhere up in the north half, because there's Darlington. And because I've heard of Basing Stoke, it must be somewhere reasonably near me. So because of that, we're going to go all the way down. I think we get a zero points if we click right in this corner of Ireland. Or do you think we'd be better clicking down here? We're going to go right down on Lizard. Lizard, I've gone for it. Make the guess. Bit of a risky one. This one might get us some unwanted points. Oh, no. Oh, Basing Stoke. Nice one, Darlington Road. Whose idea was that? Look at that. We don't want that in a no points mini game. Uh, round five, five. Let's go. Where is it? Where are we here? Oh, it's all game over at this point. We've got 300 points, basically. Right, you know what? I'm not even going to look. We're going to just make a snap decision. I think that this is... I think it's here. Wet Wang. I reckon it's a residential estate around Wet Wang. So because I think it's there in Wet Wang, I'm going to click down here in Wales. No, nope, I'm going to click up here in Scotland. Let's get a zero point. Oh my god, I did... Is it in Wet Wang? Wet Wang? We got 22 points, which is good. Whoa, look where it is. It's here, and in the last video that we did, we got the 5,000 points for clicking right there in Ramsgate Close. Well, it's weirdly close. But the real question is, how close is it to Wet Wang? It's half an hour from Wet Wang. That's pretty good. We were pretty close. Shout out to you if you're from Wet Wang. Right, let's view the summary. Okay, we got 300 points. I would have liked low for a no points game. Let's play again. So we're doing a final round and we're going to do the United States, which I promise I will be very, very bad at. Right, I mean, this looks warm. Does that mean that it's down like... Was that a rabbit? That looks like a rabbit. Is that Big Chungus? <laughs> Where's Big Chungus from? Right, we'll have a look around and then we'll find a sign. The poor quality suggests it can't be somewhere especially mainstream, but I don't know. I guess it would be somewhere closer to Mexico, though. Like Texas or Arizona or somewhere like that. It just kind of looks a bit like Breaking Bad. Where was Breaking Bad set? So for that reason, we need to avoid this area down here. So for that reason, to get a zero pointer, I am going to go up here in Maine. And I've gone for it. Zero points. Zero points. Zero points. Oh, no. We got 135 bloody points. It was over in Montana. Who knew? Not me. Okay, that's fine. Oh, oh my. Are we in Hawaii? Look at this. Uh, uh, loo, loo, uh, that's Hawaiian. Oh. Wait, maybe we're not in Hawaii and it's just some kind of resort that is built to look a bit like Hawaii. This is nice. I don't care where it is. I just want to go to it. This is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Where are we right now? How did the Google Street View car get around this? This is a resort, isn't it? You have no idea how much I want to go here. This looks literally unreal. Where's Hawaii? Is it down here somewhere? <laughs> I don't know. Is it down this side? There it is. There it is. That's Hawaii. I may have been looking on the wrong side of the world. That's fine, though. So with that being said, we have to assume that this is Hawaii, but I could be just completely forgetting somewhere. So because of that, we will go... Can't go wrong with Maine. We love it in Maine. Go on. Go on. Yes. There we go. That's what we want. We got a zero pointer. It was indeed Honolulu in Hawaii. And it looks unreal. I want to go to that specific place. What was it called? Okay, I'm gonna go there at some point. And there's a McDonald's. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> so where is this? I don't know. I thought that it was only orange in Texas, but apparently I'm wrong. It's also orange in Montana. Okay, so we need to find a sign. So I'm assuming this is mainland USA. It looks very warm wherever this is. I've been traveling for several days and I am yet to actually find a sign that would have any kind of useful information. What does that mean? Poor road 2010, 2012. What? Can I only use that road during those years? What am I meant to do with this? Oh, what's this? Have we found a sign? I have no idea. Look at this crossroad. We've got summon a demon here. Uh, I think it's Tennessee and that is partly because I just happened to see that first when I glanced at the map. So with that in mind, we need to go... <laughs> Should we go to Maine again? <laughs> 
No, we'll go up in Washington. We're right up that top. And I am making the guess. Come on, zero points. Nice. It was actually Texas. Okay, we did pretty good there. 177 points. I think the fact Hawaii is an option makes it a lot harder to get low points. Just because of how far away that is compared to everything else. So let's play our penultimate round. And it's another place that just looks like every other place so far in America. It's just a big long road. Which I think most of America is just big long roads to places with fields on the other side. This is a poor quality camera. Why are you taking me backwards? What a poor Oh, quality camera. What am I meant to do with this? I won't be able to read any signs. How was this only three years ago, Google? I mean, it must just be somewhere in the middle of the country. I don't know. I reckon it's Nebraska. No, no, no. I reckon it's Kansas. So with that being said, we will click down on this little nubbin that is Florida, and we shall make our guess. Oh, it was Albuquerque, which got us another 171 points. You are really ruining this for me, Hawaii. Final round. Oh, look. It's a road with fields around it. What is that? Is that like a phoenix? Look at that. Why is the camera quality so bad? I don't understand. I mean, when I flew over America, you could see lights in cities, but then there was just nothing for hundreds of miles. So I guess these are just the roads connecting those cities. And you're most likely to end up getting one of these when you're playing GeoGuessr. I mean, I'm looking for a sign with a place name. I don't know why that would be useful to me, because I don't know where anything is. But I'm just trying to get to the top of this hill, and I'm convinced that there is no top to this hill. What has happened right now? I feel I'm stuck in some kind of infinite vortex. It doesn't change. Look, no matter where I go, it's just the same thing. Get me to the top of the hill. Look, you see? there's the hill. Let's click all the way down in the distance. Whatever this square thing is, it's getting closer. It's actually not getting closer. Why is it not getting closer? Oh, hang on, hang on. We are actually getting closer to it. What is it? It's a shed. I think we found a shed. God, you were a bloody challenge to get to. Oh my god. Why did that take like a thousand years to get to? I felt like I was seeing things. It was like it was a mirage or something. Well, that was a waste of time. That being said, <laughs> I don't know. It needs to be something where there's nought going on. There was quite a bit going on over in like California and Las Vegas and stuff. So for because of that, we're gonna click in California. Where's the beach that's in GTA? Is that around here? Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is. We're gonna go right on the pier, because that is definitely not a pier. If this is Santa Monica Pier and I've just been absolutely mugged off, I will scream. Oh no. 1,000 points is not what you want when you're playing a no points challenge. So it was actually up here in Oregon. Jesus Christ, I should have just clicked Hawaii. This is very sad. Okay, so our summary was actually 1,500 out of a possible 25,000. That looks so so disgusting. Look at that. United States no points is a real challenge if you're a moron like I am. So on that note, I want to say thank you very, very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy another GeoGuessr video. I love doing these. Apparently we do these weekly now. So if you've got another suggestion for something we could do next time, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Okay, bye. Wet one.